as part of Canva's new 2024 update, there's a whole load of new apps and one of them is called Font Frame. And that's what we're going to talk about. It lets you put an image behind some text and you can use it to make cool things like this or sort of half and half social media posts like this. So we're going to start with book cover size 1600 to 550. This is Canva Tips for Authors, where we help authors use Canva better to show off their books and their book marketing. I'm Jeev. I write as Jeevani Charika and Rhoda Baxter. I write romance and women's fiction. And if you are an author who would like to talk to other authors about how to use Canva for book marketing, come and join the Facebook group. The link is in the description. Okay, so we're going to do, you know, those covers where you have text with an image inside the text. That's what we're going to do. We've been able to do this before, but it's been really fiddly because you've had to use um, frames, letter frames like these um, to make your chunky text. And then you've had to put an image behind each letter individually. And that has taken a while. So this app makes it a lot easier. Right. First of all, let us find our image that we want to put. So I was going to go for this tropical island image. And I'm going to call the book The Holiday Trap. Okay. It's actually the name of a book that I've written. And we are going to look for font frame. There we go, font frame. That's quite a cute font. Right, so you have to start with, you have the two words and you can choose your font in here. Let's go for something like something fairly chunky. Actually, the font they have is pretty good. Libri Franklin, maybe. Yeah, okay, that's cool. And then we go down here, check the alignment, and let's just first get our image in. Choose file. Select image, selected image. Okay. Right. Now we need to change it to Okay. And then we can move the image. What do we want? Something like that. That's quite good. And we can scale the image so that you can bring it closer. like that. Okay. If you go to the settings, you can choose whether you want it left aligned, which might be quite good or center aligned. Let's go for center aligned or right aligned. Um, you can change the letter spacing, which you're probably not going to do. That looks fine. You could change the line spacing, which I'm going to increase a little bit so that the words are slightly separate from each other and you can choose the outline. So what you can do, so I'm going to do one with a really thin outline just for example purposes. And I think you can change the color of the outline. Can you, can you, no, you can't. Okay. So let's add to design. Let's get rid of this picture. There we go. The holiday trap with the picture behind. Now there's other funky things you can do with this. So for example, if you wanted to have a nice big outline around it, right? Keep everything the same. Add to design. You get this, which is about the same size. And now because this is acting as a photo, you can go edit photo and then you can do whatever you want. So you can add, um, you can add a shadow if you want, or, um, one of the things I quite like is duotone. Duotone is really, really handy for when you want to change the color of something. So this is currently black. 
Let's change it to bright blue or green. No, no, let's do bright blue. Okay. And then you could send that one to the back. And you get your wording highlighted in blue. If that's what you wanted. Ah, this was a top tip from Michelle Toth, by the way, who's got a really, really excellent channel. Or if you want to, because this acts as a photo, you can do things like, where's shadows gone? Give it a shadow. Which is quite funky. Here we go, the holiday trap. which might be a nice effect for you to use um, when you're doing a book cover or if you're doing social media posts. So if you want, I don't know, lots of sunshiny pictures or something, then that would be a good way to do it. Another thing you could do is to do a sort of half and half social media post where basically I've just taken the photo and cropped it to the so that it matches the other half. I absolutely love this, to be honest. I'm going to be playing with it for a very long time and it's just so cool. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please tell your friends and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your time.